up? Hello everyone, welcome to uh, another 1v1 and this time we've got our first American star and that is Matt Malone, the highly renowned Twitch streamer uh, he's got a YouTube channel as well and you know I've not really known about Matt for too long but I recognise he's obviously a YouTuber for one and two, a very quick driver so it's especially on iRacing the platform he's picked so hello Matt, how you doing mate? Hey James, thanks for having me no worries, man. Uh, so as you can see, we've loaded into the practice lobby. There's only three minutes remaining, or less than three minutes. So I don't know if you, you're joining yet. I'm in the session, ready to rack. Cool. So we are in the Mazda MX-5, as you've chosen, on Laguna Seca, as you've chosen. And I've restricted it a bit with baseline setup being mandatory. Um, we've got five minute practice, not really a practice anymore. Then a one shot quali and then a 10 minute race. So I like to say it would be fairly even, but I know how quick Matt is on iRacing. He's got an iRating of 4,000, I've only got 2,000. So yeah, we're on the back foot, but it'd be nice to try and nick a win here. How are you feeling about it, Matt? Are you feeling pretty confident? Uh, well, not as confident as I would if we were still on the old tire model. With the new tire model with the Mazda, it's still learning experience for me, but yeah, I'm feeling okay. I love this track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you kind of been you've been very nice in the sense that this car, if you don't have a H pattern shifter as part of your sim setup, you're going to be slower. Um, and you've decided to kind of equal the terms here a bit as I go wide off the pit lane. That's nice and smooth. Um, and you've put all the clutch on, which you know I've done that as well. So we should be even on that sense, and I appreciate that. Yeah, get as close as possible. Exactly. But you've you're been racing uh... racing for a while, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, about oh four, five, six years or so on iRacing. racing. Um, just curious, like um, you probably don't even drive a lot of cars that use the H pattern shifter. Oh, my road car, but um, <laughs> race cars I've driven a couple. Uh, sim cars, I d yeah, you're right. I mean, most of the sims I'm on now don't really involve that. They all flappy paddles, so yeah, it, take... it makes it a lot of fun. Like cars, like. You know the must the old Mustang they got in I racing the Mazda some other cars use the H pattern shifter and it is a lot of fun it's a lot of mechanical stuff like you're moving around you're doing this it it does bring yeah. the immersion level up but yeah most of the cars that are competitive it's just like paddle shifters and away you go here we go qualifying then uh, the corkscrew is fun in this car man oh it's great yeah I've had some of my best races with this car because I always say the slower the car the closer the racing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's your uh, record looking like with all these 1v1s? You've done quite a few, huh? Yeah, so we've done seven, and um, we've won four, lost three. And I actually lost to your old friend Jimmy Broadbent, um, Steve Brown, and to Arav. Uh, I don't quite know how I lost to Arav, but um, the other four, yeah, they were, they were all being very close, and that's been the point of them, to be fair. I've tried to set it up so it'd be nice and close, obviously on your terms, on your favourite track and car. So, well, that's you could equalize thing. today. Yeah, I mean, you're at a pretty big disadvantage when you let the other guy pick the combo and you're doing all these different sims. And so props to you, man. That's, that's pretty. Cheers, bro. Try my best. Oh, this is going to be interesting because obviously qualifying doesn't matter because there's no traffic or anything. But I just want to see how far off I am or if I actually can beat you. I've got to be honest, I've probably done about two laps. So feel really bad well you had to have dri driven the mazda quite a bit to in i racing that's kind of where you start right to get your yeah license. that was a long time ago though and i always sucked in it to be fair a few inches later oh that was so bad yeah a lot of people that um they start i racing they get out of rookie and immediately just abandon the car that's why you know, I, I stuck with it yeah yeah i stick with it i, I just enjoy it for whatever reason I can Thunderfoot around all day. <laughs> Thunderfoot. I like that. Yeah, my gas pedal is like an on-off switch sometimes. <laughs> no. <laughs> no! I've off-tracked it. Oh, no. Still give you a time, though, right? Or it'll yeah, show yeah, yeah, give me a time. Ooh. Oh, well, I'm not going to tell you the time, but... Oh, hang on. Couldn't have been too far up. I have a feeling that would have been really close. I will Hold call on. it a 141 flat for you. Yeah, if I look back on the stream, to be fair, we can probably work it out. So, there you go. 
<laughs> yeah. Right. Well, how long we got? 20 seconds. I felt like that was close, so that's given me some hope. Oh, is this like, have you done many like 1v1s before or not really? Oh, I can't. I, I don't think ever. No, this might be the first one. Right, I'm going to have to take advantage of that. Yeah. Yeah, you got the experience. You're losing your 1v1 virginity to me today, so I need to <laughs> abuse you. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> we can do 32 laps with this amount of fuel. Nice. Oh. I think Told I you those start. Start. Yeah, a little funky there. <laughs> Left side. <gasps> oh no, <laughs> I've spinned it. Oh, it's that new tire model. Mate. Oh, looks like I can't get it in the gear here. Oh, oh, there we your go. struggles continue for a bit longer. Mate, that was so slippy. Chris, you're going to have to edit, to edit that out of the video, mate. <laughs> Ah, uh, the beauty of editing. Ooh. Hey, you should feel that slipstream now. I really could have done with being in front of you at the start, though. Almost like everything happens in slow motion with this car. <laughs> I know, you just sat on the straights thinking, right, now what? Ooh, you got a little dancing back there a little bit. Yeah. My Thunderfoot. So yeah, you done the Daytona 24 hour, I done the Daytona 24 hour. Where did you finish in the end? We got 15th place. Um, we we're in a pretty high split though. Seven split with some, uh, you know, some guys that had never ran it before. So it was a great learning experience. It was Fair fun though. Enough. We had a Ric Flair, uh, hashtag woo car. <laughs> <laughs> it was bright pink. It was amazing. We would have been so close to racing each other then, because we were in split six, and I think we both, me and you, run the Ferrari, didn't we? So that would have been a good race. Yeah, that was a great event. I, well over 2,000 people signed up for it. It is, went off did, pretty well. Did you get the crash at the start of the um, server? When the no, race the website really lagged, though. A little uh, bit okay, for all of us, it was like, couldn't get on the website. Oh my god, there's no slipstream. What is going on? I'm impressed, man. You say you only did a couple laps of practice, man. You're good. Oh, yeah, but you're relaxed. I'm on the limit, mate. Yeah, hundreds of people race this race every hour on iRacing. <laughs> I mean, is it notoriously, like, no overtaking? or? <laughs> usually, no, usually they're pretty good races. You know, it all depends. But most guys, you know, like I said, they're trying to get a rookie, so they just get in these races and they go slow. Get no off tracks. Oh, really close though. Come on. Yeah. Ah, there we go. Slipstream is finally kicking in. Really, really right behind you now. Making the most of that slipstream. Oh, door banging. Oh, I've just. What the? It's going for. A... I'm rolling. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Jesus, I thought you were gonna then. I thought I was dead. <laughs> I love it. White flag already? What? Oh, here we go. Oh, mate, you're going to be so going for it now. Yeah, I wouldn't want to drive one of these in real life in a hurry. Just very, very within themselves, aren't they? Yeah, yeah I see these in real life. They're so small. Are they? Yeah. Have you driven one? I drove one of the older versions. It's quite satisfying to drive, though, I must admit. God, mate, I'm sweating my b**** off here. Oh, I think I've got it. <laughs> I can't believe it. I thought you had that in the bag. 
Take it. <laughs> Extra wide. <laughs> Oh, you got me. Good race, good race, good race. Good race. Oh, you know what? That was just a race of one defining moment. Oh. Yeah, that was fun, man. I love these cars. That's what it's all about, man. Yeah, oh, this man. new tire model, like I said, man, it, this thing is way more lively than before, for sure, man. It makes for some good races. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I actually drove Laguna in World's Fastest Gamer with a completely different car to the Mazda. I can't, I mean, it is mental how close to reality the iRacing track is. Obviously laser scanned, so that helps, but it's so similar to it. I don't know what American tracks you've driven on. Uh, Road Atlanta and a couple of other smaller, smaller ones. Fair enough, man. That's still pretty cool. Maybe Laguna one day in an MX-5. Maybe we'll do it in real life. Me versus yeah, you. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I'm taking a look at that replay, man. That was such good close racing. I got a little oversteer mode, and I was like, oh, I've got it, don't worry. And the car just went. I was like, no. I think it's because I was on the marbles. <laughs> yeah, that could be. Yeah, and no, like, the tires have like zero heat in them at that point. Yeah. And I, I did always... some off-roading, though. <laughs> I always thought the, the colder the tires in I racing, the faster the car, but I suppose it's not always the case. Well, yeah, it kind of used to be, but now it's changed. Well, man. Uh... Nevertheless, we're five free up against YouTubers now. That's my first two gap I've had. And I thought Matt Malone had it in the bag there. Um, we'll go and look and see what my qualifying time was. And uh, yeah, I want to see if it was close to yours. That's probably more satisfying than actually beating you in the race because I don't know how genuine that was. I think that was more luck. But cheers for coming on, Matt. Hey, man, that was a lot of fun, dude. I really appreciate you having hey. me. No worries, and uh, no doubt I'll speak to you in the future at some point. Uh, have a good 2020, I guess. Yeah, you too, man. Thank you. All right, then. So, uh, as I say, five free up against YouTubers. Who will be next? I don't know, but leave in the comments below who you want to be next. Uh, like the video, sub to the channel if you already haven't. But uh, I suppose until the next video, I'll see you soon. Do that out of the video, mate. <laughs> Cheers, buddy.